Welcome back. Today, we are going to cover WordPress 101 and we will be navigating the dashboard. Let's explore WordPress so that you know what's going on here in case this is your first time ever using WordPress. So how does WordPress work? Whenever you're going to create an article, you're going to go to your dashboard. Your navigation is on the left hand side and you're going to use these links to put content on your website. You create posts on WordPress to create and publish new articles on your blog. Before we dive into that, let's just quickly make sure that our website is set up properly. First, we're going to go to that navigation on the left hand and we're going to go through settings real quick. We want to display your latest blog post articles on your homepage. So we're going to go to settings. And then under settings, you're going to find reading. Here, you want to select that your homepage displays your latest posts. When people go to your website, they're going to be seeing all the latest articles that you've written there. Here, you can also pick how many articles you want to show on your homepage. Put any number you like. The default is 10. Pro tip, make your links SEO friendly. Let's go into the WordPress permalink settings. So the reason you want to go into settings permalinks is because that's how the links to your articles are built. You want to make sure to pick the best option for search engine optimization. Select the option that is labeled post name. The next thing you want to do is go to post categories. Here, we want to add a category for each content pillar. That way, you can organize the different articles you're going to write. So let's talk about how to add categories on WordPress. Let's say you're going to write about your outfits. You're going to add a new category that is called fashion. On the other hand, if you're a food blogger and you write recipes, then your category could be the type of recipes. Maybe you share recipes and you also share about food styling or food photography. Enter the name of your category, capitalizing the first letter of your category. In the slug field, you want to use all lowercase. The slug creates the URL for that category. We want it to be the exact words you put in the category field, but just lowercase. If your category has more than one word, replace each space with a hyphen. For example, if your category is fashion styling, then the slug is going to be fashion dash styling. Scroll to the bottom and click add new category. You'll see it show up under your categories. Add as many categories as you need for your blog. Let's create your very first page. Go back to that menu on the left and go to pages and look for add new. We're going to create our about me page. Click on add title and start typing about me. The way the new WordPress works is with blocks. When you want to add something to the page, click on this little block and it gives you options of what you can add, a paragraph, an image, a heading, etc. For SEO, it's recommended that you have headers. Each header helps tell Google what your page is about. I'm going to add the first heading. It's going to say about me. The default block is a paragraph, but if you click on a block, all of these options pop up. Use those options to switch it from paragraph to a heading. There are two ways to add a new block in WordPress. The first option is to simply press enter and WordPress will create a default paragraph block. If you're looking to add a specific type of block, let's say an image, hover over the block over where you'd like to add the image, a little plus sign pops up. When you click on the plus sign, you'll see all the types of blocks you can add to your page or post. Perfect. So you added a header, a paragraph and an image. On the right hand side, you'll see some settings. If you click on any block, you see options for that specific block. 
at the top of the settings, you'll also have a tab for document settings. If you click on that tab, you see the options for your entire About Me page. We are going to publish our About Me page right now. In the future, if you want to write a post or page and make it go live in the future, you would click and instead of Im immediately, you could pick the day and time you want to publish. If you want to see what the page is going to look like before you publish, click Save Draft first and then click Preview to review your work. Clicking Preview automatically opens it up in a new tab so that you can see what the page is going to look like. I like what I see, so I click Publish. Now add all the pages you need for your site. Don't worry about adding the content for your About Me page and other pages. We'll discuss the different elements you want to include in those pages in a future lesson. Creating your first post on WordPress. We're going to create two sample posts for each of our categories. Using your left-hand navigation, go to Posts and look for Add New. Create your post just like you created your page. Add a title, a header, some paragraphs, and an image. Now let's add a featured image to your post. Depending on your theme, your post featured image will show up in different places. For example, if you go to my blog, coralgableslove.com, all of these thumbnails across my site are featured images for each post. Whenever you add a blog post, make sure you always add a featured image. To add a featured image, click on the Documents tab on the right-hand settings. You're going to see a bunch of options. Scroll down until you see Featured Image. All you have to do is click and upload an image that you want to be featured. For search engine optimization purposes, I recommend you always fill out your alt text for all your images. What is alt text? Alternative text is used for visually impaired visitors of your website. Special devices read out loud whatever is in your alt text field describing what the image is about. Search engines like Google use alt text to help them figure out what your article is about. Search engines use text to organize websites so they can then give the best search results when people are looking for something. Since search engines can't read images, they use the image name and the alt text to figure out what the images in your blog post are about. Categorizing your post. Now we want to categorize the blog post that we just wrote and we want to categorize it with one of those categories that we created previously. Categorizing your post will allow you to add a category to your navigation menu that shows all your posts in that specific category. Go ahead and publish your post. Then create at least one blog post for each category on your blog. Let's go to our main website. Mine is going to be tbusupplies.com. Your site should now show your posts on the homepage. The WordPress install came with a demo blog post of its own called Hello World. You can go ahead and delete that post. Go to post, check that one that says Hello World and delete it. Customizing your WordPress blog. At the very top of your site, there is a black navigation bar. Click on customize on that bar. Here is where you can poke around and start to make your blog look more like your brand. For example, if you don't like the background cream color, you can change it to white. And you're going to do that through these options in customize. When you make a change, you have to click publish at the top or else your changes are not saved. Start with the first option, header and logo settings. This is where we can add our logo. Click select logo and find your logo on your computer. Creating your blogs menu. Let's set up that menu. One of the most important things on your website. Go to customize and look for menus. Create a new menu and we're going to call it main menu. It's asking where you want this menu to appear. We're going to select when you're using a computer and when using a mobile device and click next. Now click add items and click on a page you'd like to add to your menu under pages. 
you'll see it appear on the menu on the left hand side. If you want the navigation to show all the posts that you wrote under a specific category, go to Categories and click on the category you'd like to add to your menu. So that's our menu. Click Publish. Let's go see if our menu has been updated. Click the X at the top left corner to exit Customize. You have your pages, you have your posts, and your menu. Your website is ready to go. Poke around in this customized menu so that you can change the settings on your site to make it your own. Now it's time to start publishing content. Congrats.